Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to say a few words at the launch of your new online course. My name is Judith Gerlach and as the new Bavarian State Minister for Digital Affairs, it's my job to set up and shape Germany's first ministry dedicated to digitalization. And it's a real interesting and exciting job. My ministry's self-conception is to be a governmental think tank on the ongoing disruptive digital transformation. I coordinate strategies that already exist, but I am also responsible for developing new ideas and keeping an eye on inventions. What's needed, therefore, is creati creativity, visions, but also pragmatism as well as the willingness to get things done. Digitalization has to make our lives and work easier. Talking about our digital future, there is one thing I consider as extremely important. All technical solutions have to serve the people. People have to be in its focus. Digitalization exists to serve both the individual and our community. That is why the whole society needs to discuss, for example, about how far and how deep digitalization should go, where are our ethical limits in, and in which cases the usage of artificial intelligence should be allowed. We must prevent that digitalization will split our society by excluding or leaving people behind. In my opinion, the main task of my ministry is to serve as a communication hub and to bring digitalization to the people easily in a smart, in a human way. With our program Bayern Digital, we are investing about 6 billion euros in digital projects until 2022. Our program exists of 170 sub-projects ranging from broadband expansion via digital classrooms to digital business, incubators and um, artificial intelligence. This one takes up um, a special role in future technologies. On the one hand, we are already investing 218 million euros and round about 100 jobs in a, competent, a competence network for artificial machine intelligence. On the other hand, my ministry keeps pushing the topic by developing and own Bavarian blockchain strategy. One other extremely important technology, but I'm pretty sure that I do not have to point this out, is aerospace. Aerospace is another key driver of technological progress in many, many ways. In the age of the Internet of Things, Satellites can help um, terrestrial um, providers uh, generate connectivity. But most important, and that's where I draw the bow to you, the aerospace sector is also a guarantor for high quality jobs and highly skilled young talents. That's why we expand um, capacities in Bavaria in a huge way with a new faculty at the TU München in order to ensure um, jobs for the future. In general, we find satellite um, research being an extremely important domain. Concerning this, um, the Bavarian um, Aerospace Programme announced by Bavarian Prime Minister Markus Söder provides significant impetus. Um, Bavarian invest heavily in this sector over the coming years and is set to become Europe's number one aerospace location. Here in Bavaria we already have a good standing, but we know um, that we have to be prepared. There are a lot of players on the market, some of them um, well known, others new, um, that are challenging our current position. For example, we can um, see that the battle for the most talented um, engineers started already. In a world, um, world um, without borders, employers are looking for, for the best conditions wherever they want. We and you, we are responsible for offering our um, talented young academics um, best conditions for a good ed education and afterwards um, for the best working environment. 
I am sure that we um, can face this challenge together. And I am already looking forward to getting the most um, fruitful environment to um, assist our industry and our young researchers. I wish you a very instructive and fascinating course, Digitalization in Aeronautics and Space.